Today I'm showing you how to become a better player in pool. In this video, I will show you some tips how to become better at pool, no matter if you're a beginner or a more experienced player. Do these things and your game will definitely improve. Well, there are two categories. In the first category, I'm showing you things you have to do on the table. And in the second category, I will show you some things you can do even when you're not at the pool hall. First, detect and train your weaknesses. This is one of the most important things you have to do in order to get better in anything that you're doing. So imagine you're playing pool and then there comes this one shot up where you know I'm making this shot only 5 out of 10 times. 5 out of 10 times sounds not that bad, doesn't it? But what does that mean? It means you only have a 50% chance of making the ball, or better said, a 50% chance of missing the ball. That also means every second time you're facing this shot, you miss. And that's obviously a weakness. So what you have to do? Remember these shots that you have trouble with, and then set the shot up and play it over and over again till you make it 10 times in a row. At some point you're doing it often enough and your brain and your body will remember how to play the shot and it's not a problem shot anymore. Train your technique. A proper technique in pool is key to success, especially when you're in pressure situations. Maybe you're in a tournament or you're playing a money match and you're very nervous and under pressure. If you have a proper technique, you can rely on that technique. A player who just plays great if he feels great can play like an absolute god if everything works for him right now. But if he gets under pressure and has a bad day, he can even play like an absolute beginner. So the range between how you play depending on your state of mind is really big. With a proper technique, your game won't decrease that much under pressure situations. I would recommend here to watch my video about how to become a shot maker in pool. In that lesson, I'm telling you everything you have to know about a proper technique. Play safe. Especially beginners seem to not know about playing safe at all. But the safe game is a huge part when playing pool. You just can't be always aggressive and try to make every shot no matter how crazy it is. And even on shots that seem not to be that crazy and where you make even 7 out of 10 balls, you should consider to play safe, because there is still a 30% chance to miss, and a very well played safe very often wins you the match. For example, here I could try to make the 4 ball of course, but I know I am making this shot maybe 6-7 out of 10 times, and it's just way too risky. So instead I'm just playing safe, maybe get ball in hand and then I can run out the table. One exception for playing safe. If you're playing against a very good player, you may want to try to actually make this ball. Because you don't want to let your opponent at the table again. But this mindset only grabs when you're playing against a top player or especially players who are very good at kick shots. Train your weak arm. Being able to play some shots with your weak arm is very important as well. If you're watching matches of pool players or snooker players, they all seem to be able to play shots with their weak arm, because they're training that. It makes the game so much easier for you if you're able to do that. And actually, it's not that hard to learn. Of course, if you've never played a shot with your weak arm before, it feels totally wrong. But if you trained it for only 30 minutes 3 times a week and do this for 2 weeks, you will become very good with your weak arm. Play money matches and tournaments. Money matches and tournaments will always force you to play your best pool even under pressure. So do this as often as possible, because this is the only way to get used to these situations. The more often you are into pressure situations, the better you will be able to handle them. Play with stronger players. It sounds hard, but you shouldn't play with weaker players at all. If you want to learn something and want to get challenged, you have to play with stronger players. You can adapt so many things while just watching them. 
and they will also challenge you and force you to play your best pool in order to beat them. That way you will definitely improve your game. The only thing you can train when playing pool with weaker players is to not let your effect from your opponent and still play your best pool even if it's not required. And there is also a very interesting psychological thing that will change the way you rate your own game. Imagine you're playing a match and you make 5 mistakes in this match. You're playing against a weaker player and you win this match. So you're thinking, I played great, I don't have to train. Now imagine you're making the exact 5 same mistakes in a match against a stronger player and you lose. So now you're thinking, I played bad and I have to train. Even if you made the exact same mistakes in each match. And even if you have this information now, it's very hard to judge and rate your own game unrelated to winning or losing. Well, these were the things you can do on the table. Detect and train your weaknesses. If you want to become better in anything, you have to detect and eliminate these weaknesses. Work on a proper technique. A proper technique is extremely helpful, especially under pressure situations. Play safety shots. Before taking a risky shot, consider to play safe. Train your weak arm. Be able to play some shots with your weak arm as well, because it's an underestimated ability. Play money matches and tournaments. Get yourself into extreme pressure situations. This is the only way to learn how to handle pressure. Play against stronger players than you. Only stronger players can force you to play your best pool and to improve in order to beat them. Here are the things you can do when you're not at the pool hall. And please don't underestimate these things. They can have a huge effect on your skill. First, watch pool videos. And no, I'm not talking here about instructional videos. I'm talking about matches between pro players that you can watch here on YouTube. It sounds like not a big deal, but doing this really improved my game. I did this for a whole year every evening about 2 hours of pool. And when you're watching these matches you just don't wanna watch. You wanna think, what would you do in this situation? And then you compare with what the pro player did in this situation. And from that you will learn things like the best way to get position for the next ball, that means cue ball patterns, or decision making, that means if you're playing safe or taking the shot, right patterns to go if you're watching 8 ball or straight pool for example. You can learn so many things just by watching them play and comparing with your own thoughts. This also really boosted the confidence in my decisions, because now I know I am doing it the right way. Visualize yourself playing shots. When you're currently maybe at the bus stop or at the checkout or at home on the sofa, visualize how you're playing pool and don't only see random shots. For example, if you're having trouble with draw shots, visualize how you draw the cue ball all the way up table on a draw shot. Try to see the pictures, hear the sounds, feel the situations and feel your body. This sounds a bit crazy, but it actually works. A study at the University of Chicago was done where people were split into three groups and each group was tested on how many free throws they could make. After this, they had the first group practice free throws every day for an hour. The second group just visualized themselves making free throws and the third group did nothing. After 30 days, they tested them again. The first group improved by 24%. And here comes the interesting part. The second group that only visualized their shots did also improve by 23% and that's pretty amazing. The third group did not improve which was expected. So I'm not telling you to be lazy and not practice at all. But what I'm trying to tell is, imagine what you could do if you implemented both practice and technique of visualization. You can apply this to all sports and if you do it, it can do wonders for you and your game. Last but not least, meditate. If you reach a certain level in pool, the mental aspect becomes just huge. So one way to handle pressure situations better and to become more of a stable player, especially mentally, just meditate. You can also do a kind of meditation while playing pool 
I'm showing you that in the video about anger and frustration. Well, that's it. Maybe one last thing for you. You only improve if you really want to and really put a lot of work into it. From nothing comes nothing, of course. So do all these things that I told you. And of course, the best tip at the end, do not forget to watch my videos as well. That's it for today, guys. If you like this lesson, do not forget to like and comment or subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you at the next lesson. Take care.